Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. It's a lovely, lazy Sunday morning here at the off-grid cabin. Uh, Mid-60s. Not a cloud in the sky. Blue as it can be. A fine, fine fall day. Uh, this is September 26th. And <laughs> there's no better place to be. Trust me. Um, it's not going to be a totally lazy day. I want to get my saw set up, my miter saw set up in the barn. I got to get my table saw put together. Um, originally, I was going to videotape that. I brought my canning camera out. It was, you know, uh, going to do a whole video of how I put the thing together. And uh, didn't bring the card for the camera. So all I have is my phone. So you're not going to get to see the whole process of me, you know, and putting the saw together. And that's probably better. Because it'll take a couple hours. I think I hear a creamer coming. Uh, I don't know where he's been all night. There he is. What are you doing over there again? Uh, so... I know you want a can of kitty food, don't you? Sunday morning. You need your can, huh? Yep. <laughs> Silly boy. Uh, so, anyway, that's the project today. To get the, the shop ready. Get the saws ready. Um, so I can start working on this cabin. But. You silly boy, I know. Oh, yeah, pop your head up through here. Yes. You get all kinds of sticker burrs on you crawling through that stuff. Are you nuts? Huh? <laughs> the, uh, oh, don't stop. This is why in the other video that I shot out here, I shut the door and left him out. Because this is what he would have done the whole time. I was talking, um, but i have also, I want to thank everybody for, uh, joining me last night in the live stream. That was really cool. I have fun doing that. And I think that's going to be the theme. Each time I do a live stream, it's going to be an hour of random randomness. <laughs> Just whatever happens to pop into my head or your head, we'll chat about. We'll uh, make comment on that. Had, saw some new people in there last night. Uh, so definitely Saturday night is going to be an automatic thing. Uh, I'm going to try for Wednesday nights, but definitely Saturday nights. We could all hang out. I didn't have as many viewers as Donald Trump did, but I'll get there, I'm sure. <laughs> if I keep Creamer in it, maybe if I could put him in the live stream. I think he has more fans than I do. And Max won't cooperate. So, this is what we're stuck with. But yeah, I'm just going to chill out today. I'm not doing anything hard. Just putting my shit together. <laughs> you know, I should mow, but I might save that for tomorrow. Uh, it rained yesterday. A little bit. And the grass is very dewy. So I can't mow it till later in the afternoon anyway. What are you going to do? You're just going to be lazy and wait for me to go open up the barn and give you a can of cat food, aren't you? That's all you're going to do. Yes. <laughs> See, I'm doing a video out here. I can't shut the door and keep you. I should throw you in the cabin now. Yep. But he's a good cat. He can feel winter's coming, too. I mean, I'm, he's going to be stuck in the barn or stuck in a cabin because I can't heat the barn. I don't want him out here in freezing weather. So, we'll fix the cabin back up for him. All right, you got to hop down. I got to go to work. I'm going to go take care of him. No, I'm going to go take care of him and get started putting that saw together. I'll see y'all in the barn. Get down. Get down. Get on down now. Come on. You had enough camera time. Oh, welcome. 
welcome to the bar. Had to bring the tools up here. I swear, as I'm getting older, or I'm getting too many tools, because that thing gets heavier every time I lift it. Let me take care of the cat. You can see he has plenty of food left in his bowls. Plenty of hard kitty food. Let me get him a can. Because he likes his cans. Don't you? Yes, you do. Let me get something to get out. Don't move. Don't act like you're starving to death. Because you know you aren't. No, you aren't. Yeah, he jumps up there. Hang on, dude. Hang on. Look at all that food. Yeah. What? Now tell everybody how mistreated you are and how you starve to death. This bowl is still pretty full. This is still pretty full. So he's taken care of. Now I'm gonna put my saw together. And like I said, I'm not going to do an instruction video of how to put it together. Because number one, I don't really know. And number two, I think there's gonna be a lot more foul language than I should be allowed to use. So, I'll open it up. Sure, they still in. <laughs> oh yeah. This will probably wow, that's a book. <laughs> that's the instructions. So this will take a while. I'm gonna open this all the way up. I think I'll take the top part off. Oh man, this is going to be insane. But let me pull up a chair, read my book, <laughs> and get started on this and see how I put it all together. But this is a 15 amp. 10 inch portable table saw. So that's going to do the trick out here. I'm going to have this, my uh, seven and a quarter inch miter saw will be set up. My 10 inch miter saw I'm going to have to set up and build some of the core because all the two by eights, all my framing for the cabinet, all that's going to be cut on that uh, my compound miter saw. Uh, yeah, this whole area here is going to be like a workshop area. And I feel comfortable about setting it up now because, like I said, I'm basically living out here now. Um, my time being in Wheeling and not being out here will be so random 
nobody can like say, oh, okay, we know his pattern. He's going to be gone on these days or whatever. That's not going to happen. And I checked. He, I did not tell him I was coming out here and spending the night. This morning, he heard movement over here. And the first thing he did, there went my phone. Wanted to know if I was over here. So, we're looking out for each other. But let me get started on this. I might pop in now and then and show you progress, or I might just at the end of it show you. I either got it set up, or I threw it all out back behind the saw, or back behind the barn. One of the two is gonna happen. But we'll be back. All right. So I think what I can do now is pull my table saw from the tool room, which is going to be locked at all times and securely. <laughs> and if I unlock this and lay it out, it locks into place. And there I have my yeah, table my saw. Table saw. I like this thing. Most people I see using table saws on YouTube don't leave the blade guard on. I'm not doing it. Uh, my blade guard is staying on and this little thing keeps kickback, keeps it from being kicked back. That's going to stay on. You pros might want to remove that. Go ahead. I'm not a pro. Uh, got my miter gauge. Slides in that way. I can adjust angles if I want to rip something or cut something. This extends out if I want to put a table on it. I can attach a table and you know make it easier for one person to rip plywood and such. My rip fence is really nice. Slides back and forth. Get some things out of the way, but I can make adjustments on it. If I need it to be wider, I'll unlock this and pull this out to where I need it and lock it back into place. I can rip sheets of plywood. Everything I needed. And it will also allow me now, on all of my pallet wood, I can move this fence over. whatever width I need it. I'm a push stick here and I can just push all that pallet wood through here and make all of it the same width. That's how I'm gonna do all of that wood that I cut the trim for, you know, for all my base trim and molding inside the cabin. This is what I've been waiting on. Get this where I can rip everything to the same width and make it nice. I have never owned a table saw before. I'm happy. So, and when I'm finished for the day, especially if I'm going to be leaving to go to work or something, I pick this up. Let's see if I do this right. Lower this. Lock it into place. And I wheel it off to the tool room. All there is to it. That is slick. Unlock it. Okay, unlock the me. Okay, unlock it this way. <laughs> and pull that out. That's what I have to do, dummy. Stand it. This is stand it up. Plug it in. Go to work. I love it. Blade angle adjustment, blade height adjustment. I mean, everything I need. So that's my table saw. Let me get my miter saw now on its stand. And I'll show you that nifty piece. You've already seen it, but I'm going to set it up in here. I'll be right back. This is my small, it's a seven and a quarter inch uh, sliding miter saw that I could cut up to two by eights with. So I really don't need my big one out here. I'm going to bring it out. I got a big craftsman. Um, these will fold. You see, these are on legs as well. I can stand this up with the saw on it. 
fold up the legs and wheel it any place I want to wheel it to for storage, just like that. Um, this, if I loosen it up for long pieces of wood, this will go out about four or five feet. I can take this off and take it out even larger. But, you know, this is very good. This is going to cut what I need on my two bites for all the floor joists, you know, all, all of that good stuff. I gotta play with it, but and it's kind of dusty. I have used this. Um, I can do angle cuts just by turning it. It's got a laser light. So yeah, this thing works great. I have no complaints with cobalt tools. So there's two of my tools for the wood shop. So yeah, this is the start of my wood shop. Um, I will use this out here in the barn right now to rip all of the pallet wood that I've taken apart and used for trim inside the cabin. I'll rip it all to the same width here. Then I'll take this up to the cabin and use it to chop everything to cut it all to length. And I have my big Craftsman compound dual bevel miter saw, which will do bevel cuts both ways, all the angle cuts, sliders, and everything. This is seven and a quarter inch. That one I think is 10 or 12 inch, the big Craftsman. I don't remember. But this is portable. That's portable. I mean, you saw I can put it up, take it up to the cabinet if I needed to use it up there. Or when we start actually putting the house together, then uh, I can set it outside and we can rip there if we need to. But this is this third of the barn is going to be my wood shop area. And as I buy material for the house, I'll be storing it all in here. I have plenty of room, especially if I want to utilize the downstairs. Um, but I will be pre-cutting everything here so when the crew gets here next year and we have our barn raising, everything is going to be ready. Um, as far as working with pallet wood, there's one tool here <laughs> that I'm missing that I want really bad. I've never had one, but I'd like to have one. Can you guess what it is that I want? I want a planer. You know, I just, eventually I'm gonna have a planer out here. There's no doubt in my mind about that. Cause I, you know, it's unlimited the amount of pallets. So I'll be doing stuff out here with pallets and I'll plane them all, you know. It's just, this is what I've been wanting. And I finally got enough time to live out here, basically, all these tools I can start putting. Yeah, I have all the hand tools. You know, I have the circular saws and drills and, you know, all of that kind of stuff that I need. I need a planer. <laughs> but, yeah, this is it. I did put that together. The book is really thick because I think it's in 18 different languages. It was not difficult to assemble that. Uh, I wound up with no extra parts. So it must have been all right. You saw how easily it folds up for storage and sets back up again for use. And I cannot wait for the first time I bring the generator down here and fire this puppy up and use it. But yeah, we're going to have us wood chop out here pretty soon. Anyway, that's pretty much what I got happening. Today, I'm just, like I said, just chilling out. I'll probably later on carry all the wood up here um, so I can get started. I'll get the generator down here. I forgot to bring, and I know I had some out here at one point. Maybe I used it, but I need to change the oil in the generator. I need to change the uh, filters in it. So I'm going to order that stuff, order the filters and everything off of Amazon. And the next time I come out here, I'm going to bring the generator down here, clean it all up, change the oil, change the filters, clean the spark arrestor, and get it ready. Uh, I'm going to build just a little room for it. Because 
you know, with these walls all like this, I don't have a problem bending it. So it's going to bend just fine. And uh, yeah, I can use it up here. I built it its own little room so I can insulate it and keep it quieter. But yeah, it's coming along. We're going to be rocking and rolling in here pretty soon. And I hope you stick around for it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. There's a little update here. And remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, dislike, do all the stuff. Again, I appreciate everybody for hanging out with me last night on the live stream. I guess we talked a little bit too much about uh, the Second Amendment and things that go bang because <laughs> they sure did not want to monetize it. But I don't care. You don't make money off of, off of live streams anyway. Um, it's just fun to do. So I don't care whether it's monetized or not. So. Now I know, man, that thing I stretched so much it started leaking again. Um, now I know I can talk about anything in the live stream. I'm not worried about it. Um, but that's pretty much it. You guys got your creamer fix. Uh, I'm going back to sit on the porch. I'm probably going to read, do some reading and uh, cook me something to eat. I'll uh, try to get up to somewhere that has Wi-Fi so I can upload a video tonight. But we will see y'all later. God bless y'all. God bless America.